In the hockey world, we're well aware that there are no athletes as tough as hockey players, and that is especially the case in the playoffs, where these guys go to war. Well, tonight as Winnipeg took on the Vegas Golden Knights, we got another example of exactly that. In what was a scoreless game at this point, the Jets would enter the Vegas end. Appleton cross ice to Lowry, who drops it for Barron, and somehow, Rossois keeps it out, and the puck is loose as a dog pile of bodies flying around everywhere ensues. And finally, we get the whistle. But coming out of it, we see Morgan Barron slow to get up, is clearly leaking from the face as he goes straight to the locker room. And yeah, bit of a warning as this is pretty gruesome. But upon replay, you can see Barron fighting for the puck gets pushed from behind by Stevenson and right into the blade of a diving Brossois skate in what is honestly tough to watch. It gets right up under his visor and this could obviously have been extremely dangerous. Luckily, the skate goes right above his eye, narrowly escaping what could have been a very very serious injury. So yeah, scary stuff, and with that said, he did not return for the remainder of the first. With that in mind, heading into the second, still scoreless, Dubois for the Jets would enter the zone, feeds Connor in front, and it was the Jets that opened the scoring early in the period with a great play by Dubois and a rocket from Connor. Then, just a minute later, the Knights coughing up the puck at center, Dubois picks it up and coming down again, this time shoots it, and he scores as the Jets, just like that, take a quick two-goal lead, led by Pierre-Luc Dubois. And as we would approach the midway point of the game, look who's back on the bench. And you love to see it. You just can't undermine the heart of a hockey player. Great to see he's all right. And the cut he got required a crazy 75 stitches in what, again, could have been real ugly. But rocking the cage, he's patched up and ready to roll. So back to the game. The two goals for the Jets silenced the crowd. But with four to go in the period, the Knights gain entry. Barbashev over to Carlson, and he roofs it past Hellebuck as the Knights cut the the lead in half with a pretty pass and a fantastic finish. While we got a close call at the buzzer, the Jets almost scored again. That would be it for the second, so we head over to the third and final period of the game. Just four minutes in, the Jets put one on net, knocked down in front, so Niederreiter over to Wheeler. He puts on a backhander and scores again as the Jets take back the two-goal lead that they would hold on to this time, forcing the Knights to pull Brossois late, but Wheeler with the flip pass up to Lowry sealed the deal as the Jets score here and getting a late power play Lowry scored again, getting his second of the game and second in what was just a 60-second span. As the Jets took game one on the road in honestly pretty dominant fashion, beating out the Knights 5-1. Yeah, that was it for this one. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.